Good afternoon, VC Vinyl Community. How y'all doing on this Saturday, July 31st, 2021? We are, what are we doing? Well, what am I doing? I'm doing a Five Fresh Finds video, which I'm glad to be able to do. I've got actually enough for a couple of these videos, I think, in a row before I go shopping again, but I'll probably shop before I do another one. Um... But uh, having said that, I wanted to make mention that JJ's 22 Explosive Hits is still got the 24-hour live stream going for Eric Weinbender's fundraiser, which is a great uh, cause. Uh, great job on that, JJ. Um, that's, uh, I mean, that's a long haul you're doing. And uh, I've been checking in. I checked in uh, last night and again today. Uh, I'll be checking in before... It's done. It should be done in an hour and a half or so, or two hours maybe. Anyway, wanted to do this Five Fresh Finds because I have been having some good luck lately and um, at the stores. And all of these are pretty reasonably priced. I don't think, I mean, they're not thrift store prices, but anywhere between 8 and $12 I've paid. Um, maybe one more than that. But anyway, the first one of the Five Fresh Finds for July 31st. Another rye cooter, the slide area. I've been having some really good luck with the rye cooter finds lately. Um, really um, expanding the rye cooter collection, which I'm happy about. This is his 10th record from 1982. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't know a lot about this one. And uh, I'm looking forward to spinning it. All the, uh, all the production information and uh, lyrics and song titles are on the back. There is no inner, just an old uh, plain white inner sleeve on this, so I'll have to uh, replace that, but no inner on this one, not that I know of. Maybe I'll check Discogs to see if there was originally, but um, this looks like the original old, beat up old white inner sleeve, but glad to have this one in the collection and looking forward to spinning it. You can see the maple leaf in the top right corner. There we are, so you know it's a Canadian pressing. And uh, it's on the white Warner Brother label, I believe. Anyway, uh, that's the first of the first fresh find for today. Rye Cooter, the slide area from 1982. The next one I was really pleased to find, and um, this is my first Taj Mahal record. Um really good record too when I uh when I started when I spun it um, I have listened to it at least actually I don't think I listened to the entire thing but a side and a couple of tracks on the second side but really liking it and um this is Taj Mahal from 1977 uh, I'm not sure which number let me check here I don't know how many records were before this one but um I'm really enjoying this, so I'll be looking. I'm going to be keeping my... Uh, this is... Oh, sorry, I didn't even say the name of the record. It's Music for You. <laughs> music for You, uh, but really spelled out Music for You. Taj Mahal. What a fantastic artist. And uh, just got a great sound. Uh, really liking this record quite a bit. No inner sleeve that it came with. Just a plain... It's actually a, in a really nice inner, clean inner sleeve. But uh, really happy to have found this. Um, so I'll be, uh, like I said earlier, I'll be, uh, collecting more of this. Anyone, uh, let me know who's, who dig, who's really into Taj Mahal, who, who knows their discography, his dis discography, and let me know which ones you love. Anyway, this, anyway, this is my first Taj Mahal from 1977, music for you. That was number two. My third of the Fresh Finds. Um, and really pleased to have found this Tracy Chapman's Crossroads this is her second studio record from 1989 of course we all know the first one and uh, I don't have that I think I just have that on CD but um, this is a fantastic follow up and it didn't get a lot of like from what I understand or what I remember this didn't get a lot of buzz I guess there was no big hit like her first record, but um, I really enjoyed this record. Crossroads and Freedom Now, Be Careful of My Heart. 
really good stuff. Um, this one did, in fact, come with, let me just find it. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful picture. Look at that. Oh, what a great inner sleeve that is. The beautiful Tracy Chapman. And um, what a phenomenal artist. She just, uh, I don't know, there's something intoxicating. I don't know what it is. I can't really put my finger on it. She just has this delivery, um, for lack of a better word. The way she, I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. She's just fantastic. And uh, this is a great record. I'm really glad. I'll, I want to get everything she's done. Um, this is my first of Tracy Chapman on vinyl as well. So really glad to have found this. Um, Crossroads from 1989. Look at me. Look at this. Vinyl Richie would be really upset with me at this point. Anyway, uh, that's the third fresh find for July 31st. Crossroads from 89 on Electra. All right. Fourth fresh find. Stevie Wonder's Hotter Than July from 1980. Great record. Kind of a come, not a comeback, but it, certainly not a comeback. He, he was, but um, I guess his previous journey, his previous uh, journey through the secret life of plants did not do well for him. And um, he did come back with this, and this did a lot better, charted well for him in 1980. I'm taking it out of the sleeve because I wanted to show it's a gatefold. And there's the inner. Production information, all the lyrics, produced by Stevie Wonder, all that good stuff. Back cover you've seen already, but, so it came with the original inner, which is great, and the song, what is it called? Happy Birthday, which is the last track on side two. Last track of the record was all about this guy right here, Martin Luther King Jr., and Stevie at the time was an advocate to have Martin Luther King's birthday recognized as a national holiday. And uh, look at these images from uh, Civil Rights Movement. Um, fantastic, powerful uh, photography. Incredible images from days gone by and uh, the nonviolent protest, that picture down at the bottom, just fantastic, the standoff, unbelievable. Um, and the police brutality photos, of course, here, here, and King here in the center on one of the many marches. Brilliant inner sleeve. Great record. And in fact, of course, Martin Luther King Day was um, recognized, I guess, in 1983 in the States. And uh, I don't know if it started in 83 or was it declared 83 and then later? I don't know. My American friends can uh, tell me. But Stevie Wonder's Hotter Than July, released in September of 1980. This is the fourth fresh find for July 31st. All right, and now the fifth fresh find. Chick Corea, Inner Space, double record. It's a compilation record from 1973. Basically, it comprised all the songs from his 1968 record, Tones for Jones Bones, and a couple of other previously unreleased tracks, is what this is all about. I'm going to take it out of the plastic here, because um, it is a gatefold, and I'll show the, uh, the gatefold here. Production information, track listing, a little bit about Chick Korea and this record on this side, I think, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to figure out. It comes with the original, you know, Atlantic Inner. And I'm still trying to figure out if this is an original Canadian pressing. Or you, hang on a second, it might be a U.S. 
or is it is U.S. It is from nine. Oh God, look at how dusty this is. My goodness. Um, yeah, it's a it's a U.S. pressing. But what I'm trying to figure out if it's an original from '73 or if it's a reissue from '75. I think it is an original, just judging by the weight of the records themselves. But this thing's in fantastic condition. The spine is unbelievable. Like it's perfect. I mean, a little bit of ring wear here, but other than that, it's in immaculate shape. Glad I found this compilation. I haven't spun it yet. I gotta clean it. It's really dirty. But um, that's my five fresh finds for uh, July thirty first, two thousand and twenty one. Um, I've got a few more. Uh, I'll have another video coming up soon with more fresh finds, and of course, episode four of Great Toronto Live Music Venues. I'm going to be recording this weekend as well. See you later, vinyl community. Check in on JJ's twenty two explosive hits before the end of the day. My vicar of vinyl out of here.